What's up fam? Welcome to the video. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Hope you're feeling good. Big day of sessions today. We got two sessions at the gym, one session at home. We'll take you through a great day of workouts. Enjoy the video. Not super hungry this morning, so I'm just gonna have this RX bar before my session. It'll hold me over and then I'll eat afterwards. All right, homies, let me walk you through this entire gym and footy session. As you see here, we got into a pre-activation warm-up, getting into the adductors, getting into the hip flexors, really working on opening the range of motion, as well as activating them to get them ready for this sprint type session. As you see, we're gonna be working on a lot of decelerations, a lot of accelerations, a lot of sprint form. So it's key to have the groin, to have the whole pelvis really activated. And as you see here, we got into banded sprint work first. I'm just working on my first step, really trying to drive out, stay on the balls of my feet, not let the heels touch the entire time and I'm working on the quality of my foot strike. As you see here, you wanna be leaning into the band, just letting the band take over your body weight, and then all you're doing is really trying to drive as your partner holds you back. The resistance is excellent for you to work on your stride, work on the power of the stride every time you hit the ground. Then we went into barbell sprint drives, basically similar to a wall drill where you're working on your sprint form. And as I said before, you wanna be on the balls of your feet. As you see there, relax that upper back, have a nice bend in that knee and really drive off of the ball of the foot while having the other leg drive up. After that, we went into some alternating pogos, really working on reaction time, being bouncy off the ground. As you should see here through my whole rehab, I'm really working on movement efficiency and being bouncy. We then went on to a barbell Romanian deadlift, really working on the posterior chain, the hamstrings, the glutes, the erectors, essential for speed and power development. And like I said before, in my rehab coming back, we're really working more on movement efficiency instead of lifting. And as we progress, obviously we'll add more lifts in, but the focus right now is being efficient with every single movement. And then we go into some reaction deceleration pivots. I showed you guys and girls this drill last time. Really an excellent drill to work on the whip of your hip. So I'm really trying to be bouncy in and out like I spoke about before. Really trying to bounce in and out off the ball of my foot. Get in and out of a cut as quickly as possible. And then we finished off with some quick shimmies with the left shoulder and getting away with the right foot. And then we moved into some footy. As you see here, working with my guy, Sisai, you're gonna go six reps for each surface. So as you see, we started with that left outside, then we're moving into a right inside. All you're doing is moving around the cone as quickly as you can with the specified surface, whatever you're working on, plan it to your partner, and then he or she goes. Whole idea here is to really keep the touches close, get around the cone as quickly as possible. And then as you round the cone, play the ball to your partner and then he or she goes. Then we moved on to the left inside part of the foot. Six reps again, staying close to the cone, taking some small quick touches around that cone. As soon as you get around that cone, pass the ball to your partner with your left foot. So that's key. Whatever foot you're using, you pass with, and as soon as you get out of that figure eight, you're trying to pass the ball as quickly as possible with pace. We then moved on to a receive plus figure eight drill. As you see here, I'm checking back, checking in. As soon as that ball comes in, I'm receiving it, 
working now on the right foot, so right foot only, figure eighting around the cones. As I said before, the goal is to keep the ball as close to you as possible, really be sharp, and then you move on to the left foot. And we're working on eight reps per surface. So here, working on that left foot. As soon as I get out of that figure eight, I'm passing the ball with pace to Seesai, and then checking back and repeating. So the whole deal is you wanna take a touch in the right direction, really be able to comfort the ball, and then do your figure eight with whatever surface you're working on. As you see here, now we're going right foot, but using both feet. So then going left foot using both feet. So alternating doing eight reps total of this one. So about 24 reps total of some quality dribbling, really keeping the ball close, some nice tight control, excellent for any position on the pitch. Then we moved into a color drill. You can't hear, but what I'm doing is using the inside part of my foot, Seaside's calling a color, and I'm opening to that color. So he's ripping a ball in. Whatever color he's calling, I'm using the inside part of my foot to get to that color. And as you see here, when you use those back cones, you want to take an inside touch, get around the cone, play the ball, and repeat. So here, we're working again. So if he's calling a red, I'm taking a touch in front, getting around and playing it. If he's calling a front color, I'm just taking a touch and playing it. You don't have to get around. And then a nice nut shot here. This one really, really hurt. I was down for the count for a bit. So really concentrating on being soft with the ball, really comforting the touch. As you see there, when you go to those front cones, you don't need to go around them. But as you see, we're, as we use the back cones, we're taking a touch in front, going around, playing the ball. And then same exact thing, using the outside of the foot. So really cushioning the ball with the outside part of the foot, playing a nice inside the foot ball back to your partner. And this is definitely a harder one. So really, really concentrate here on taking a touch with the outside part of the foot near the pinky toe region, playing a nice sharp ball back to your partner and repeating. Then we went into a behind the back touch, which is one of my favorite, really. A nice touch, had fun with it. Your partner is gonna call out a color, you're working for 30 to 45 seconds and you're taking a touch with the inside part of your foot behind the leg. So. You gotta make sure when the ball is coming in, you really prep for this touch. And then as you see there, if I'm not ready, I just play it back and tell them to repeat and there's gonna be screw ups. I'm not gonna hide those. And then as you see there, get a little creative with it. Using the behind the back touch with a reaction is not an easy one, that's for sure. And then we got into color drill out of the air. So he's gonna call a color, any service I want, take the touch out of the air, and then chip it back to your partner's hands. So you wanna chip it back to the partner's hands so he or she doesn't have to bend down, hurt his lower back. And then also you just wanna work on that chip. You know, it's a skill that you might not use often in a game, but being able to chip the ball and really get underneath is excellent. This is one of my favorite drills, I really love this. So. It's a wall drill. If you're a midfielder, this is an excellent drill, no matter what position you play. So he's playing it in, ripping it into my right foot. I'm taking a touch, preparing the touch, playing with my left foot off the wall with pace, receiving with my left foot, passing it back with my right. So as you see here, really getting into spaces, really checking over the shoulder and trying to make it as game realistic as possible. But the whole idea here is to really work on your first touch, really work on your movement in space and seeing what's around you the entire time. I would say you work between 10 to 25 clean reps. As soon as the reps don't look as clean, you stop. And that's what we did here. So then we moved on to the 
left foot receive, right foot pass. So same exact thing, left foot receive, right, no, I'm wrong. Left foot receive, right foot pass, then right foot receive, left foot pass. So basically what you're doing is just switching your feet every single time, ripping the ball on with pace. And since we're towards the end of the session here, I want you to hit the ball in with absolute pace. So here we're just working on a one touch. And if you're a beginner, have your partner lay the ball in softer. So Seaside is playing a ball in with good pace for me here. And I'm just using my right foot as a one touch pass, receiving it with the other foot and repeating. So here using the left foot pass, right foot touch, left foot pass, left foot one touch, right foot touch, left foot pass. And then the last drill of the day, just working on heading. So we did 20 reps with no jump, working on the technique, and then 20 reps with a jump. What's up, homies? Back home, all showered up. Two very good sessions, as you saw. About to jump into some work before eating some lunch, and I'll take you on the rest of the day. Let's get it. Little post-session Chipotle. Every time I'm vlogging, I'm eating Chipotle. Promise I only eat this max twice per week. My own gluten-free tortilla. Let's munch. How is it up there? Enjoying the sun pot? Chicken soup action. 45 minutes in Fred sauna. Shit is not easy. Bust, bro. Bust. What's up, homies? Just got home out the infrared sauna, as you saw. Gonna do some core work now. A little bit of prehab stuff, rehab stuff. Get this core back nice and strong. I'm gonna go have some dinner, do some work, have a recovery sesh. You'll see it all. Let's get it. What's up, homies? How we doing? Now we are on to the stretching for the night. I have a love-hate relationship with some nighttime stretching. I just want to chill on the couch, watch some NBA, but. I know this is what makes me feel better. Sometimes you gotta do what you don't wanna do to improve yourself. That's what it's all about. Sometimes you don't feel like it, but at the end of the day, in the long term, that's what helps you out. Gym. the video I hope you enjoyed it as I always say my life may look boring but it's all about discipline it's all about hard work it's all about routine and I basically do the same things every single day as you see from other youtubers like become elite guys like that things need to be done every single day to take yourself to the next level consistently and they may get boring they may get monotonous but if you really love the process you really love the grind you will love that stuff and that's what it's all about. I show you the true behind the scenes, day in, day out, no BS. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please click that like, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Deuces.